Hi everyone. So I really wanted to film something today, but originally I was going to film Get Ready With Me. I'm just not really feeling up to it at the moment. So today, overall, was a pretty crappy day. Um, as some of you know, we kind of befriended some of the local wild birds and a few of them in particular we were getting quite close with. So there's Maggie, she's the main bird. Um, she'll, you know, jump up on my arm, on my shoulder and, and whatnot. Um, and then there was Soldier and he was just starting to warm up to us. Um, part of Maggie's group. Unfortunately today he didn't make it. Um, one of our neighbours noticed that we were really friendly with the birds and saw that there was a bird on the ground and came over to us to um, get our help essentially and um, from his beak pattern and everything else uh, I knew it was soldier straight away um, I was kind of hoping it wasn't but it was so we called wires which is like a, um, a native wildlife rescue kind of group and we, we already know the vet because we've gone through this with a couple of other birds that have been injured in the area um, but we took him to the vet just to get him checked over yeah, unfortunately he had injuries that he wouldn't really recover from and they had to um, put him to sleep. Uh, so it was a really crappy morning, um, but I got to see him this morning. He flew in up to the front door and started singing, so I was laying in bed, but I thought, you know what, I'll just get up early, I'm awake anyway, and I'll go and say hi. So I am very thankful that I got that last sorry <laughs> so um, I know a lot of people think it's probably weird that I get so attached to wild animals and it's tough because they are wild animals you've got no control over them you can only do what you can to I guess provide them with fresh water and hopefully somewhere safe when they need it um, but yeah, some people don't understand that you can really get so upset about something that's not even your pet, but I feel like with some of the birds we formed a connection and Soldier was pretty special. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I opened a second Instagram account, um, called Aussie Magpie Maggie. And, um, yeah, post about the, the birds. So if you're interested in birds, <laughs> check that out. Um, but there was really one really special occasion on the 2nd of January where he just flew. I was just standing out the front at the letterbox and he flew straight up to me and landed on the letterbox in front of me. And I just remember seeing it was like something out of the movies. It was just quite really special. So, um, yeah, he flew straight in. Um, I was planning on filming this in natural lighting and everything, but I'll show you um, what it looks like outside at the moment. I don't know if you can hear it, a storm has come in. It was actually a really hot day today and all of a sudden we've got this massive storm that came out of nowhere. So um, yeah, I've had to use lights and um, yeah, I still I just really wanted to film something but I just I don't know if I'm really up to much, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it was my dad's birthday today. They came over, which helped a lot. Um, it was fun to have family over and celebrate his birthday with him. And so that was a really good distraction. But now they've gone home and, um, yeah, I'm getting some really lovely comments from people who are in the bird community, I guess. Um, it's just, it's really sad, but it happens. Um, so he was part of Maggie's tribe. Um, she'd already lost Lisa at the end of last year. Unfortunately, um, she was injured. Um, it's, <laughs> you know, again, suburbia and cars. <laughs> there's thunder. <laughs> um, so yeah, sometimes there's nothing you can do, but we were hopeful with Soldier. We took him to the vet and, um, 
they were really nice they're actually really good and um, he came out straight away and had a look at soldier and took him back and had a look over and unfortunately yeah he's he had a really bad injury to his wing like near the joint um, he wouldn't be able to fly and, and there was just yeah it it was worse a lot worse than it looked um, essentially um, when he told me <laughs> I was holding back tears and I started crying and and he looked really upset actually and I can only imagine how hard it is for a vet I guess and just people in general who care about animals um, but yeah so it was a quote uh, that I thought was really sweet and now I can't really remember it that well but it was something along the lines of just like a bird singing in the rain um, just hold on to this happy memories or good memories um, in times of sorrow something along those lines um, and I think that's <laughs> it's raining and there's birds flying around so um, yeah I'm just really <laughs> emotional sorry oh, gosh I think I know some people think it's weird um, some people don't get it at all and that's fine not everybody is that way a bit I just felt a connection in particular with soldier and Maggie I think the most um, so now Maggie has one down in her tribe and I'm a little concerned um, so we'll see how she goes if she stays around I'll be very thankful um, but we'll see there is lightning <laughs> happening behind me I don't know if any of that will pick up but it is absolutely crazy out there right now um, but yeah I think it, oh, just just then huge lightning far out um, I might face it this way just in case there's some lightning behind me <laughs> I'll catch that um, but I think it's tough when you care for wild animals and animals that aren't your pets hang on I'll move this like that's a little bit better but you know <laughs> that way you can see me it's not like <laughs> in shadow um, but yeah I, I think I'd rather have those occasional sad difficult times and still then get benefit and the joy from those good really special interactions with them and it's just I, I mean I get sad when I see any animal hurt or in pain um, it's just me so you know <laughs> I still I want to film some stuff but I don't know what I'm gonna be filming um, I just I kind of wanted to film this and um, in a way respect soldier <laughs> um, he was really really sweet magpie and yeah So, <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't think it would be this hard. Um, yeah, anyway. I'll miss him running up to me. He would just run out of the hedges or fly in. Um, so, this could be... It's going to be hard when he doesn't do that. But, yeah, at least I'll be left with the memories of all the times he did. And... I took a lot of photos, <laughs> so I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. Anyway, this has gone for a little while now, but I wanted to share it with you because that's part of why I make videos is to share my passions and hobbies with all of you. But I might film a few videos, I might just try a few different styles, maybe not me in front of the camera, more behind the camera. And do some perfume related stuff that way um, so I think I enjoy trying to keep my mind on other things <laughs> um, and yeah do that but I just wanted to say hi to all of you and share that with you but I hope you're all doing well 
and um, <laughs> as Paul lightly. <laughs> and that's it for now anyway. Hope you're all having a good morning, afternoon or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see you soon.